What's the biggest misconception of you? What's one thing people think about you, but it's not true? Um, probably that people think I'm rude and mean and stuck up and arrogant. Where do they get that from? I don't know, probably because I don't talk to nobody. Like, I talk to very few people, and I guess I have the resting B face, mm. people say. But but those misconceptions, they're not true. No, I'm cool. I'll be chilling. Craziest rumor you heard about yourself? Craziest rumor? Um, I don't really hear no rumors about myself. I don't really get people's stuff to talk about. Mm. And if people are talking about me, it don't really get back to me because, I don't know, people don't be really talking about me like that. That's good. Mm, yeah. Is there a question people ask of you you just hate to answer, just gets under your skin, bugs you? Um, Certain question that just seems to always reoccur. My age. Sometimes it gets annoying. And how to pronounce my name gets annoying. Uh, my ethnicity, that gets annoying. And yeah, that's probably about it. Just for the record, can you answer all three? Yeah. You want me to answer them? Yeah. Go okay. Ahead. So I just turned 18 in two weeks ago, November 9th. What were people mistaking you for? Um, the oldest I've gotten is like 22, but I just turned 18, so yeah. They ever think you're younger than that? Mm, no. More so older. <laughs> yeah, older. I always get older. People be like, what? Like 18. And then as far as your name? Uh, you pronounce my name Tajaya Gary. My first name's Tajaya, my last name's Gary. What do usually people hear? Uh, Taj, Tajaya, Teja, Tajia. I get everything. Do you go by something short? Uh, my friends call me Jaya. Okay. Yeah. That's acceptable. Yeah, that's cool. More people call you that for short versus your full name or? Uh, yeah, most people call me Jaya. Before I even got to tell them that's my nickname, they'd just be like, I'm gonna call you Jaya. I'd be and, like, cool. And then as far as your ethnicity? Um, I actually just found out my ethnicity like two days ago. So I found out that I'm, uh, what am I? West Indian, West African, Indonesian, and I got some British in me too. And I'm black, so. <laughs> now, do you care what people think of you? Um, be honest here. No, but yes. Like, I know people would be like, no, I don't care. But in reality, I feel like everybody cares. I mean, it's just kind of how you handle it. But no, but yes. I know sometimes people can care so much about another a person's opinion of them that it can lead to health issues. It can lead to certain levels of stress. It can lead to anxiety, depression, yeah. worst case, suicidal thoughts. Did it ever get that bad for you? Nah. Whenever you did care? Nah, not really. I mean, I might be a little sad about it for that night. Or really, when I was younger, it used to kind of get to me. Like when I first started popping on Instagram, like the comments used to get to me, but now it's like I get more positive comments than negative comments, so I don't really be tripping like that. What were they, uh, what were they negatively commenting about in the past? Just stupid stuff. Like, what would like, get under your skin that they would say? Just stupid stuff like, you ugly, like, or why your hair look like this? What's wrong with your hair? Or just stupid stuff. Nothing in particular. Mm. Yeah, just stupid stuff. Back then, how did you cope with that stuff? I mean, you felt um, sad. I kind of didn't really cope with it. I kind of would just, like, be sad in the moment, but then, like, boss up on it the next day. But yeah, I never really like been that person like just to be like boohoo crying about it. Like I don't be tripping like that. Sad, not shedding a tear. Yeah, no, I ain't never cried over it. No. Mm. <laughs> I see. No. Uh, never sought like counseling or therapy for it. No. Never got I that. I don't be tripping that much. No. Now, just curious, what are your keys to success? What are some things that make you successful at this point? Um. Okay, so I think what I've realized, I feel like the number one key to success is self-discipline. 
because I really noticed that this year, like within myself, that like I'm successful now, but I could be so much more successful if I just like worked on my self-discipline. So that's like the major thing I could say, self-discipline.